Hi all, I have another amazing composition for you today. This shouldn't be too hard for you to solve. This is a mate in free. The composer of this composition. It's actually a composer deemed to be one of the great masters of the art, Heathcote. So yes, Godfrey Heathcote. He was born 20th of July 1870 in Manchester and died 24th of April 1952 while in office as the president of the British Chess Problem Society. He was an advocate of the model mate, and he was one of the few composers, composers with the power to combine model mates with strategy. And your next question, <laughs> well, it was mine, is what on earth is a model mate when it's at home? Okay, a model mate is a type of pure mate, chat mating position in chess, which in which it's not allowed to have some duplication basically. A model mate is in which the chat mated king and all vacant squares in its field are attacked only once. So no duplicates. And squares in the king's field are occupied by friendly units are not also attacked by the mating side. <laughs> That's a bit of a requirement, isn't it? Uh, so, yeah, unless such a unit is necessarily pinned to the king. So, okay, so this is a mate in three. You might want to pause the video here. It has to be mate in three, no mate in four. So I wonder if you can guess, not guess, work out the first move. In fact, one point for the first move and a million points if you can guess the rest of it. We'll predict the rest of it correctly. So white to play here, mate and free. I know a lot of you YouTubers like pointing out when I miss a mate in one or two, so I'm sure you can find this mate in free. <laughs> hmm. Ha <laughs> ha. White to play, mate and free. Pause the video, analyze it, spend as long as you want. What's the move to start off with? Okay, the first move is knight a2, actually. And I really like this, actually, this move, for what it does. It lets us, um, after b takes, what's the next move? There's there's a fantastic idea here, which I do emphasize a lot uh, to students uh, about the art of checkmate in general. So I do think it's kind of instructive for, for general middle games, etc. if you want to checkmate the opponents. So here, two ingredients for checkmating. One of them is put into the equation here, in my view. This next move, can you guess for 100 points? Or a million points, the whole continuation. So white to play here. And it's queen c2. You can see, actually, it takes away what I call the escape squares of the opponent's king. Uh, I know there's a duplication at the moment, but it's not yet mate, is it? So there's a duplication on F2, yes. Uh, so not quite model yet. But it's taking away also the D3 square. And we've already got F3 square covered. So what does black play here? If black queens a pawn, any pawn, then bishop F2, checkmate. And this is a model mate. This is the killer check and mate. And it is kind of... There's no duplication, is there? The bishop's on the dark squares. The queen's covering some light square escapes. The king is covering f3 and f4. The pawn uh, is uh, protected. So this is a model mate. Yes, and you might ask, hold on a sec. What about, what about king d2, you might ask? Yes, can you see the move here? White to play here. 100 points or a million if you get all of them all, all the continuation as I mentioned so white to play here okay and it's the same kind of principle about taking away escape squares bit of a clue so is there a neat way of taking away escape squares here Okay, the move is actually king f3 here. 
it takes away key escape squares with the king and the queen is covering the d3 escape square and after taking there's not too many other options here then bishop e1 is checkmate and it is a model mate is it not there's no duplication of control of squares around the king so yes interesting after knight a2 there is also king d4 or king e2 let's look at these two in turn king d4 there's bishop f2 check the king goes on to a light square the knight is controlling this escape square and this escape square and the bishop you know cutting across there and the killer check comes from actually the queen here queen f1 that's the killer check and if we look at the control of the escape squares it's done uh, by the knight and by the bishop here so it's all covered and this pawn actually covers d5 yes fun stuff so king d4 without further ado bishop f2 and queen f1 so the other question is which should be asked because it has all been completely programmed the king is under full control and yes this is a video edit <laughs> it's important to get all the possible uh, moves here listed every possible move because it's under total control the king here if king e2 then the key move here for 100 points i wonder if you can guess it's um knight b4 here and there aren't too many candidate moves now for the king in fact yeah the king's under uh great scoot scrutiny here um there's only two there's only two candidate moves and both of those are covered by the composer actually uh, if king e3 then queen d3 is checkmate you can see the bishop covering the escape squares there and the king there's no duplicate coverage of escape squares and the other question to ask here is king d2 and can you see the mate here okay it's queen e1 checkmate so it seems all bases you know covered after knight a2 for wherever the king moves all, <laughs> all bases are covered uh, so as well as b takes uh, wherever the king moves d2 e2 d4 got it all covered uh, so but in the main line you know what I consider the main line b takes king c2 so here there aren't too many options for the king and any any pawn under promotion or queen it's, it just runs into the same thing here bishop f2 checkmate so the other option for the king here is king d4 but that runs into bishop f2 so anything with um, promotions it's just bishop f2 anyway even if the king moves it's bishop f2 okay And by the way, if you had mentioned knight d5 check to start off with, no, that's only a mate in four. But it's interesting to uh, interesting to mention this, perhaps. Uh, king d2, bishop g3, king e2, knight b4, king d2, queen e1 is actually a checkmate. So the knight is actually controlling two key escape squares here. So yes, uh, this is a particularly strange <laughs> chess composition interest in model mate, mates, if you're new to it, like me. So maybe it's something, uh, you know, I should be concerned about during um, the bullet games. Uh, is it going to be a model mate or will any chat mate do? Uh, so what's the trivia question today? The most important thing today, what's the trivia question? Okay, do you like having breakfast in the morning uh, so yes you do you do try and eat breakfast or no you try and just skip it and have maybe brunch so that's the trivia question today the all-important neural network algorithm feeding question yeah more important than anything chess wise okay just kidding no seriously do you eat breakfast do you try and eat breakfast do you sometimes skip it what are the conditions when you skip it are you really in a rush and you have to skip it okay I'm really interested in the answer to that. And also, you know, what's your feedback on this amazing model mate composition? Godfrey Heathcote. Cot. Coat. Anyway, so 
by the way Kings Crusher TV slash opening tango new course doing well very good rating 4.8 at the moment bitly lead the chess playlist there's also bitly slash stockfish chess Kings Crusher discord chat if you want to invite me uh, for a game bitly slash chess world I uh, just registered there I'll be able to invite you for a game soon after five days of move you can practice your module mates against me perhaps okay so do you eat breakfast yes no try to tell me all about it in the comments thanks very much